Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Council and to part two of episode five. If this is your first time joining us and there's a chance it may be, welcome. I'm going to show you how I solved this difficult little puzzle. And I went to the internet for answers and then quickly realized there wouldn't be any. So I may be the first person with the answers to this. So if you're a regular viewer and wondering why this video is like 35 minutes shorter than the previous one, it's because I wanted it to just contain this single puzzle. So if you're into the story, sit back and enjoy part three will be out right behind it. And if you're tuning in for the first time, feel free to go back and watch more of our playthroughs or skip to the end to get the solution to this puzzle. All right, guys, let's do this thing. Welcome back, guys. The story continues. What? But... Even Emily's frozen? And Von Volner called home father, what didn't he? What is happening? Am I dreaming or... Louis! It's me, Gregory. Listen, we don't have much time. But where are we? Louis, I brought us here. You must act swiftly. I can't hold out for long. William has poisoned me. He must have used the blood of a former demon. I am no longer able to enter the body of someone else. The poison is gnawing away at me from the inside. I... I'm going to die, Louis. But where are we? In the ether. What you see is not real. It's only a mental projection created by my spirit. I'm occupying William's spirit at the moment, but I'm not going to be able to keep it up forever. Join me, Louis. Otherwise, all will be lost. Yes. Yes, I'll join you. Find a way. Hurry! I must find them quickly. Okay, I am not really sure. Okay, I am not really sure what's going on in the story. Let's start the next quest. Find Sir Holm. Alright guys, so welcome back to the next phase. This is new. This is new. What am I doing here now? Nothing seems real. Ooh, boy. You're There's... nothing but a coward. What a bunch of amuses you are. Please, keep calm. What on earth is going on here? I don't understand a thing. Louis, don't waste any time. Appease them. My thoughts are becoming confused. Help me. Be quick. Yes, not a minute to lose. Appease them. Okay, let's talk first. Let's see what the heck is going on. I can count on my father and my son to defend me. Yes, but will they make it in time? My father and my son analyze the situation. I just leveled this up. That's not really Elizabeth. It's another demon who wants to protect home from Mortimer. On a symbolic level, he should be placed between the two of them. Okay, so Elizabeth. Okay, okay, okay. So, so that at the very least, we swap these two. Boom. Whoop. Like that. It might take me a minute to figure out what's going on here, guys. We will figure it out. Uh, okay, so we talked and we got a thing out of it. Is this Emma or Emily? I think, I think this one is Emily. I have to protect my sister. Help me, Louis. God. Okay, that's a freebie. Emma is completely lost. She needs to be close to her sister. As for Emily, well, she no longer trusts anyone, apart from me, that is. I have to stay by her side. Okay, so we got a two for one there. Okay, so this is me. So we are going to swap. Okay, so I think it told me that's Emma. So let's do this. Uh-huh. And this. Wait, wait, which one's which? I need to keep an eye on them. Emma is completely lost. She needs to be close to her sister. As for Emily, right. well, she no longer trusts anyone. I've Apart got him. Me, that is. I got him backwards. I have to stay by her side. So, th this is Emily. So, okay. So now, okay. All right. Now, Emily is beside me. Emma is close to her sister. 
We symbolically have a demon between home and Gregory. We need to check in with Mother and with Von Volner and see how they fit into this. Stay with me, Louis. We must take Alizy back from him. That's probably a good idea. Difficulty logic level two. That's a seven pointer. Jeez Louise. Okay. So I, that th that leads me to believe that Sarah needs to be with me and against Mortimer. Let's check in with Von Volner and see. Whatever happens, I trust him and only him. I must take the book back to him. God. So, so that sounded to me like he wants to be next to home. And he might be home's son. Let's see. Let's spend the points on mother and see what's what. Stay with me, Louis. We must take Alazif back from him. These are all demons, I guess. One thing is for sure. My mother and Volnor have the same objective. To find that book. They're following the same trail and, and must be close to each other. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 That's Emily. So Emma is next to Emily. Emily is next to me. I can be next to my mother. Because she said stay close to me. She and Von Volner must be close. These must be separated. So Louis, Emma, Emily, Emma. That's a sequence. Could be flip-flopped. Could be mirrored. What else do we know? That Mother and, and Von Volner must stay close. Any other facts? I won't let him attack his brother. I won't let him attack his brother. That's not really Elizabeth. It's another demon who wants to protect home from Mortimer. On a symbolic level, he should be placed between the two of them. He? Meaning this demon? All right, guys, this <laughs> this is getting the best of me, and I don't have anywhere to turn because this is the day before this is even available. So very few people have even played it. No one's allowed to post anything on it. So I can't I can't go anywhere for clues. What what I have garnered is this. I believe Elizabeth must be between home and Mortimer. I believe von Volner would want to be next to home. I know Von Volner and Sarah must be near each other. And I I would imagine that Sarah would want to be next to me. She says, stay with, stay with me, Louis. He says, I'll only give it to him. I've got to give the book to him. Then I must be here. Which one is Emily and which one is Emma? I did it. I did it. Okay. So that logic is right. The demon represented by Elizabeth must be between... Mortimer and home. Home wants to be next to von Volner. That could be a father son thing. Von Volner and Sarah must be side by side. My mother, my mother and I, Louis, must be next to each other. And then the two twins, uh, Emily, must be next to me, and Emma must be next to Emily. We solved it. The logic is all there. Assuming that you have the points to spend, you can figure it out. At the very least, you can get a decent amount of the information without those analysis. The, the real problem is getting Emily and Emma straight. Sometimes if you're just listening to the words they say, it's hard to know which one's which. Um, but the camera angle should help you on that front. Let's see what happens as a result of having solved that puzzle. Bravo me. Looks like I've succeeded. They've all disappeared. Louis, it's worked. But don't waste any time. Yes, I'm coming. At least as soon as I found the exit. Well, I'll just have to walk up to that painting and enter it again, I assume, right? Unless there's more than one. No, no, let's enter this painting. Okay. Oh, and we're in our own bedroom, I believe. This is ours, right? Oh, jeezer. No, it's not. This is her bedroom. This is... Oh, okay. What's up, girl? What? What are you doing here? You... It wasn't enough for you to let me be killed. You have to come here and stop babbling away at me. Fool, you couldn't have stopped her from shooting, could you? Oh, 
<laughs> okay, so this is Emma. Emma, who secretly slept with us under the guise that she was her sister. Oh, don't sass me, girl. Or it's her fault. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I I'm sorry, I mean, it, it all happened too fast. I, I didn't believe for an instant that, that Emily would shoot. Of course, how could poor Emily ever have a wicked thought? No, she's so sweet and innocent. Butter wouldn't melt in her mouth. I couldn't guess she would shoot. Louis, what does that mean? We have no time to lose. Help me, please. What on earth is she talking about? Come on, I... You're dead. No. There's got to be a solution. I am made of the same stuff as you. I already survived a gunshot at point-blank range. I will survive this. Help me. I'll go mad if I stay here any longer. I must have been here several months. I, I stopped counting from... Hang on. What are you doing here? Are you dead? Uh, <laughs> okay, we don't know her vulnerabilities or her immunities. I'm going to take the time. See, what's going to happen here is that she's going to ask to take over her sister's body. Right? Who? Of course. Why? That's the body she already knows. And it's a fantastic body if you do so yourself. Myself. Let's explain to her in detail. No. Sir Gregory brought my spirit here, but I must get back as soon as possible. So you should be able to help me. Uh, she got what she deserved. I don't think so. Let me, to recap the story for you guys, what has happened up till now is that Emma came to the island first, and Emily and Emma have been posing as one person forever. They have been pretending that only Emily Hillsborough exists, and anytime one of them was seen, they pretended to be Emily. Emily, Emma came here as Emily and made an alliance with our mother Sarah, Louise's mother Sarah, uh, to hide the Necronomicon. At which point Sarah said, I don't trust you enough, so I'm going to kill you. She tried that, and that's when we arrive at the island. We have visions of that moment. Emily thinks her sister's dead. I don't know. It all gets uncovered. And then what eventually happens is Emily shoots Emma. Uh, I don't know. She got what she deserved. Emma, I have no idea of what's going on. How do you expect me to help you? There must be a way. I beg you, promise you will help me, Louis. Oh, God. See, she's going to want her sister's body. She's going to... Why? Who else would she want to take over? Because she can, she can inhabit another person, but who else would she want to take over except to steal the body of her sister? I can't promise. Uh, it would be great if they both lived, and then we could have that amazing threesome I, I dreamed about at the beginning. Let's just let's go out on a limb, and we'll promise. Uh, we'll go back on it if need be. All right, all right, calm down. I'll do everything I can to get you out of here. Thank you, Louis. I knew you were a good man. Right. I must get going now. Just stay calm. Everything will work out fine. Louis! No! Don't leave me! Louis! Filthy scum! I'll kill you! I'll get out of here and I'll come looking for you, Louis de Richet! Do you hear me? I will find you! Is that her you. talking? Did they just mess up the lip syncing? <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Thank you so much for checking it out. If you did happen to tune in for the first time and you came for that puzzle solution and you're still watching, click on the playlist popping up on your screen. You can watch our entire playthrough of the council. The choices we made, I bet they will be very, very different from yours. And if you're a regular viewer, don't worry. Part three is coming out moments after this. So a link is going to be up on your screen right now to continue watching the story. You can also click on my face to subscribe and the Patreon logo to support me there. But I'm loving the story, guys, and we are flying through to the end of it. Next episode will be another exciting and somewhat confusing puzzle. So join me for that. I will see you in the next video.